guys and welcome back to Dark Souls, the challenge of completing the game before Dark Souls 2 releases. And we're on track, we're pretty close, but now all we need to do is kill the Witch of Islith, which is a bed of chaos, and then claim her Lord Vessel Soul thingamabob. Once we've done that, we've collected all four from Seath, we've got one from the Four Kings, we've got one from Nito, and then we'll have one from Witch of Islith. Then we can bind them and sacrifice ourselves, right? It's totally fine, right? There's not going to be anyone trying to stop us after that. No more bosses after that, I'm sure. But yeah, I've never done this area. The land of the demons. Like, never, ever, 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 never, never, ever, ever. So I'm pretty, you know, excited to go into an area that I've never been in before. Similar to the way that I did, um, what's it called? Uh, the archives and, you know, the library and all that. Never done that before. But I had seen a couple videos just in the area. For this, I've seen like little things of people running across lava and stuff like that. But I've never ever walked down here and I don't know the layout of the land at all. Hey look, we got a bonfire. Welcome to the demon ruins. Some tentacle things over there. A wall, maybe is this a bridge I can go across? Looks like maybe I'm meant to go that way. Let's just keep looking around though. Got it, it's just like a huge massive crater with lava at the bottom, essentially. Lava all around, really. It's kind of a really nice view, but God, it's blinding. So there's like... Oh, wow, there's a Capra demon there. Yeah, it looks like we walk across this bridge. I guess this is where they come from, though. This is the demon ruins, the land of the demons. And the original Capra demon that we fought, like the Taurus demon as well, Ultimately, just come from here. This is where they they were born, I guess. Really, they were, were brought into the world. The Witch of Isolith, um sought to rekindle the bonfires. The the bonfires. Weakness eliminating one at a time. Okay. Um, yeah, the Witch of Isolith sought to rekindle the dying flame and recreate a new flame uh, that would last as long as the original one by using her own soul, but she's a chaos witch, so her soul is chaos, and uh, it went all super crazy wrong. Turned her into a demon and brought on the demons, also corrupted a lot of her daughters, two of which were Quelag and her sister the fair lady, uh, that we talked about. And um, I talked about the law a little bit, but not really in any detail last time we talked about it. Let me just get bearings, one sec. Um... That's a big thing. I'm not going to go that way just yet. I think that's a boss. Looks very angry. It's got a lot of eyes. Ah, oh, this doesn't feel like an eye. This feels like a dumb idea. It's not even attacking me. I'm going to walk past you. Is it just like in a trance? Oh shit, I know who this is. Ah, oh, I didn't know what he looked like, but I know who this is. So the Witch of Isolith, you know, did this whole chaos fire thing, created demons, brought on the demons, corrupted the the, the children of her. She had like seven, seven daughters and a son, and I think that's the son. So he's like become super corrupted. Two of them, Quelag. Quelag, the Chaos Witch, um, Chaos Spider, rather. She uh, was collecting humanity for her sister, because her sister's dying. Those two were attached to spiders, and they fl they fled from this demon land, and ended up in Blight Town, making a base there. But the rest of them didn't. There is another, Quilina, I think, who was in the swamp who fled as well. Wasn't corrupted at all. The only one that's still normal, quote-unquote normal. Um, and then this one's died and the brother's just watching over the body. So if you actually walk up and loot it, it should attack me. I just noticed it's got horns and I can see its face now. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna loot your sister's corpse. You're fine with that, right? No, no, no he's not. Specifically, no he isn't. How do I fight you? 
Maybe if I run. Okay, so you attack with tentacle things, right. Okay, that's not good. Let's just keep running away. Okay. That's fu- Oh my god. Fuck you. Fuck you. Drink the potion. Drink the potion, like I said. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna have to come up with some sort of strategy, because this- Otherwise, it's not working. Though I am doing quite a lot of damage. I don't really want to use my Sunlight Blade on this. It doesn't feel like it necessary. Look at how sad he is. Oh. Okay. Never mind, I don't feel sorry for you anymore. But yeah, look at that. He's got a really just... Can you see how sad his face is? He's just a sad guy, you know? He's not mean much. Apart from the fact that he's trying to kill us. I'm going to start trying to dodge again. I think that might be the right idea. No. No. No, that didn't work at all. Ah, oh, come on. That was the slowest attack ever. Block this time. How about we just block? Yeah, well, that stopped a lot of the damage. I feel like this is a really bad way to do this fight, though. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you walking? Yeah, that, that, wow, okay. I was like, yeah, that didn't do much damage, and then, boom. Oh, shit. Drink potion. How about we try rolling? Oh, uh, yeah, fat roll. Forgot about the fat roll. Am I really just going to out-heal this entire fight? Oh, come on, that was the slowest second swing ever. Block. Yep, that's enough. That's fine. Just one more hit. Okay. Oh, well, I just used nine potions on that because I had no idea how to fight him correctly. So on a build that requires dodging and, you know, dexterity and stuff, that would not have worked. I just balled through that. I feel like that was a bullshit way to win, but I did it. What's happening here? Oh, look, the lava flow is changing. Oh, it's frozen over. That's really cool. So now I can traverse there. That's really cool. So that was the brother of Witch of Isolith, as I uh, stated. We, um, sort of unlock this path. I guess he was, like, keeping it on fire, really. There's a ceaseless discharge. Looks like a secret door down there. Let's head down there. I think a way that was better to fight that would have been using that corridor a little bit more. Maybe I, like, stand out of range of its attacks and then run in, slap its tentacle thing, and then run back, and then rinse and repeat. Instead, I was, like, stood there tanking it with my magic resist and shield and stuff. Probably probably a really bad way to fight him, like I said, but uh, it worked this time. I got lucky, I feel. Right, so I went back to the bonfire and uh, kindled it, because I feel like when I don't know what I'm doing, I'm going to need the extra heals to get through here. Um, probably kindle it more than what I did um, at a later bonfire. But I noticed this when I was walking down. Look at all those, like, roots. I think in there is why I'm, where I'm trying to get. That's where the Bed of Chaos is. Where it all began. Somewhere in there. And that's where Isolith is inside there. But I just noticed there's, like, seven Taurus demons there. Seven of them. I don't really want to fight seven Taurus demons, to be honest with you. I mean, I will ever have to, but I don't really want to fight seven of them. All right, so how are we going to do against the Capra Sun Demon, eh? Hey, he actually took off way more endurance than I thought he would. I suppose this is going to be like a stronger version, though. Bam! Oh, my God. <laughs> you are weak as fuck now. 800 souls. Yeah, makes sense. Jesus, two hit him? Just thought I'd have a wander down here instead of going towards where I think I'm meant to go. Just to see if I can spot any secrets and enjoy the view. I mean, this is really cool. Just all of this. The, the world where I'm walking. The ruins. It just looks fucking phenomenal. 
I'm just kind of just enjoying that right now. Oh my god. Two, three, four, five. Oh, look, it's Kirk. Kirky boy, there you are. You alright, mate? Wasn't expecting you here. Oh, wait, no, I was. Wow, half your health gone just like that. Sucks, doesn't it, Kirky boy? Kirk uh, invades you, trying to steal humanity from you to feed to uh, the fair lady. He's actually doing that because, I don't know, he feels bad for her or something. There's a, cert there's a reason for him doing that. Um, but we have to piece it together because you find his body. What is that? Is that a hand? What is that? All right. But you find his body by the fair lady once you kill him three times. He invades you three different times. And it seems like he was trying to help her. Why? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, look. I stagger them. This should be fairly easy. Whoa. What the hell is this? It's a fire-breathing ball thing. That's a weird demon. You a weird demon. Uh, I can just walk past them and hit them. Oh, and then we'll get one hit as well. No big deal. I just wouldn't want to fight two of them at once. There's a fucking statue thing here. I guess this is what they originally were. Maybe they were brought to life or something by the demon power. But there's a centipede and it's next to a bonfire. And obviously I want to get to the bonfire. But the centipede's just going to one hit me or something crazy. All those things are going to come to life. Gross, bro. Take a breath mint or something. Ah, that was easy. That was no big deal. Oh, it's still alive. <laughs> yeah, I just did the same move three times. Keeping my eyes on these statue bastards, though. I just had a look. I just had a look at the area, right? Like the environment. <clears throat> and there is a giant centipede demon thing here, just chilling out. Can you see that? I'm like looking right at it. And it's right next to that body there where I looted the soul of a proud knight. Why didn't it jump me? I, I guess that's just a trap where you, you go, you pick up the proud knight soul and then it just like eats you. But it's not moving. That's really fucking creepy. God, this is really just cool and gross at the same time the whole place. I don't want to go anywhere near that where that centipede thing is. I can see the top of its fucking head. That is creepy. You know how I said I don't want to fight two of these at once? I'm fighting two at once. Good thing I can cleave, eh? Jump attack! Yeah. It's over here first though. Anything? Hello? Hello? See like a sick- Ah! God! Oh! Jesus! Ah! Oh. I was just thinking, I wonder if something will come up behind me here or something. Yeah, they did, they did. I can see like a, a strip here of ruin. Uh... Oh, it's, a, it's just a minotaur. Hey friend, how are you doing? Are you coming over here, are you? That's nice. Now you're dead. How do you feel about that? Oh look, a chest! Chest a chest! Found a chest! Oh, weapon at risk! Oh, that's great! You fucking son of a bitch! Great, so apparently that puts my weapon at risk. Um, does the... The stupid ass poison? Yeah, imminent poison bug. Ah, oh, yeah, there's another one. Oh my god, there's two of them. Oh, don't want to get hit again. Alright, take this power attack, bitch! Yeah! It's really slow! Oh man, I nearly died there. You know, I'm gonna just heal. And then kill ya! <laughs> oh, he's still alive. No, 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 no. Wish I'd missed that the first time. Ah, uh, let's just kill you. Let's just kill you. It better be worth it. This chest better be worth it. Seriously. Is it? A large flame ember. Ah, oh, for God's sake. I didn't even need to come here. This is for enchanting your weapon. For goddamn flame power attacks. Of which I do not need. And. Face the demon fire sage. 
And I tried to roll for some reason. Why did I roll? Why would I why did I choose to do that? What was what was the thought process? Why was why was that even a an idea that I attempted? Okay, heal! Thanks. Alright, so it looks like he's like the um, annoying ass uh, wandering one. Which I hate because of all the explosions he does. Oh, that works, that works. That's fine, that's a good attack for me. Can you do that again? Can you do, do that one more time? Okay, don't do that. It's fine. It's not like I wanted you to do the same attack or anything, you fuck. And now he's dead. Yes. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Managed to bull through that a little bit there. He's like two heals, maybe? Demon's Catalyst. Wow, what is that? Is that going to be better than the, uh, the talisman that I used? That would be awesome. Sadly, it is better than the Demon's Catalyst. Uh, oh, sorry, the talisman is, is worse than the Demon's Catalyst overall, I'd say. Um, but... The Demon's Catalyst requires 10 intelligence, of which I do not have on this character. So, you know, that's a drawback. Oh man, you know what, I just realized this entire time I've been wearing Ataris' ring instead of something, like, actually useful. Whoops. Tri -tri -tri Triple kill! That was sweet. What do we get? Soul of a Brave Warrior. Okay, okay. I don't like how there's all these so-called statues... They're totally going to jump out on me. It's going to happen. Okay, that's an elevator. That was that was an ele that was an elevator. Should have gone up the ele Why didn't I go up the elevator? Is it going to come back? I'm scared it isn't. Okay, it came back. Elevator, take me somewhere safe and nice. I'm still going to block though just in case. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Beautiful. Oh shit. Oh shit. Rhea. Where she was. There's a soul here. I left her to her own devices. We talked about how Petra might kill her because of his religious craziness. And here's some souls. Seven humanity. And a pendant. A pendant. A simple pendant with no effect. Even so, pleasant memories are crucial to survival on an arduous journey. So yeah, she's dead. And I think Petrus killed her. I mean, most of the community does. So yeah, just a quick recap there. Um, if you don't realize why Petrus uh, killed her, it's because of his um, religion, the way of the white. Gwyn created a religion... Oh, hang on. We gotta try the power attack just for you guys. Just for you guys. Eat right. Come get it, baby. Come get it. Boosh. <laughs> uh, God, that is the coolest power attack on a great sword ever. Apart from maybe Otaris's. I've not, I've never seen that in like in combat use. But yeah, Petrus follows the way of the white. It's a human. Um, Rhea was an undead, and they hate undead, and they're trying to cast them out, and they send them into the Tomb of the Giants to go get right of kindling on a suicide mission, sort of just to. To do a two-man, you know, one 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 stone, two birds kind of thing. You know, if they die, that's fine. Good, they got rid of an undead. If they come back with the right of kindling, sweet, we have the right of kindling. They came back with no right of kindling, and they were obviously alive. So Petrus is like, well, fine, I'll just kill her myself. And uh, that's pretty much what happened. I could have killed Petrus, but uh, we wouldn't have had total confirmation of that unless we talked to... Um... Oh, God, why do I forget his name? Aha, I remembered it. Uh, we wouldn't have confirmation of that unless we talked to Lawtrek. And unfortunately, he's not here. Because I might have killed him. So we can't talk to him. And he would have told us what Petrus was really up to. But you know, he's dead. So let's actually... Uh... I know it won't. I'm afraid you'll have... Yeah, he's talking about my fire ember. He can't do it. I've got to talk to the giant blacksmith, I'm pretty sure. But I'm just going to repair my equipment and then go back. Hey, there's a summon sign there. Who's Who is it? Solaire! Night Solaire! Long time no see! Man, I haven't seen you since Anolondo! Hope you're doing well, Solaire. You know what? We'll praise the sun together. Let's do it. You ready? Unison praise the sun! Solaire, you were a bit slow there. Come on, buddy. 
to step it up. Housekeeping! Oh, it woke up. Oh shit, that was the thing that I was looking at earlier. That's the thing we were looking at earlier. Ah, oh, it's the centipede. Good thing I've got Solaire, Jesus. This thing's disgusting. I heard that if you cut off its tail, it comes alive. Oh god, this is gonna kill my frames, isn't it? How do I even get to it? It's like, it's like on lava. Slayer, you better not run on that lava, bro. Aha! So, oh no. I was expecting it to be like, uh, this, the ceaseless discharge, where it just sort of puts its head right there for a while. Ow! Orange charred ring. Does that mean I can do deal with the lava now? Hang on, I've been grabbed. I've been grabbed. I've been grabbed. No time for questions. Get off me. Alright, so it's uh, it's on land now. Ah, uh, it's gone. <laughs> Shit. Okay, Soler, you deal with it. I'm going to check out this ring, okay? Charred celestial reduces lava damage. That's perfect. By how much? Okay, it's not, it's not like I don't take damage anymore, but it's definitely noticeable. It's useful. Right, let's get in there, Slayer. Chop it up. Have you got any lightning bolts? I'm just gonna back up and stand on here and heal up for a bit, Slayer. You just, you chill, all right, buddy. You're a little bit low, Slayer. I'm, I'm gonna get in there. I'm doing some real damage, right? Team, team, we're a team. It's sort of on me. I don't like the situation I'm in. It's hard to get a bearing. There we go. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill him, Slayer. All right. Alright, Solaire, thanks. Thanks, buddy. You were a team player. Very useful. You throw that lightning bolt at the body, you crazy fuck. Thanks, Solaire. You're a real pal. You know, this has been nice. This has been nice. I, I met Solaire. I've not really had any problems. Is this a wall? Wow, it really is. Um, everything's been fairly straightforward, really. I mean, not had any real issues with any of the bosses or the mobs. I mean, the, the the thing where my weapon was at risk and then I immediately got out another weapon and was like whatever, we can do it. Hey, look, is that Slayer? Slayer, man, what are, you, what are you doing? You come over here just to chill out? What's going on? Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Oh no. Slayer? Why? After all... He's looking for his son, but he can't find it. You'll find it. Keep your chin up. Probably won't. Probably got no chance. He's looking for the sun. It's like in the sky. You can't. It's not fit. Even if he could get to it, he'd be burned alive instantly. What an idiot. I love Solaire, but he's dumb. But, I mean, bye, friend. I really like you. I do like him, but he's not the brightest of the bunch, is he? He's a bit depressed now, isn't he? Imagine trying to do this without the ring. Um, I do know that developers said that you could do this area without the ring, but it's very hard. And uh, I can believe the second part. Okay. What are those things? You, know, you see them? They're like torsos. The tail end of a body of like a dinosaur, and there's like six of them. Can I avoid that if possible? God, this place is. I keep. I'm, I'm sorry, I keep saying it, but this place is fucking phenomenal. It looks amazing. Like, look, look at it. Uh, well, maybe when I'm not like on fire a little bit, that'd be nicer. But look at this area. This game is beautiful. I cannot wait for Dark Souls 2. I'm so excited. I'm just gonna run through them and see what happens. Hey guys, how are you? Oh, ooh, you don't like me. I'm gonna die. Oh, go away. No one's home. I don't want any. Shit. Oh, I saw him jump. 
Oh, I thought he was going to jump up here. Oh, what's this? Twin humanities. That's what I came up here for. Great. Wonderful. Go away. I don't want any. Alright? I don't care what you're selling. Yeah, you walk away. Bitch. Well, it looks like we're going the right way. Anyway, there's lots of vines and stuff here. What the fuck is that? It's got, like, 50 eyes and two, like, mouths. Oh, what? No. Ugh, gross. I bet it curses me. Yeah, look, those things shot out like smoke. I bet they work like the basilisk. God, look how high up we are. Hey, look, my souls are down there. <laughs> huh? What? Hey, hey, I'm look, I'm enjoying the view. All right, look at that. My souls are down there, and all the mobs and stuff. God, it is such a cool-looking place. It's only like four thousand souls. It's cool. The hell is that? Oh no. This isn't what I think it is. Oh no. I can see him. Oh no. Slayer. Friend. Buddy. Friend. Friend. You're my friend. Oh no. Finally. I have found it. I have. Ah, uh, you've done it. I have. Yes, I did it. I did it. Oh. Oh. All right, you're getting too much. You're getting too much enjoyment out of that. This R-rated. Come on, it's kids, maybe. Um. So yeah. Solaire here, kicking my ass a little bit. Oh, it's over. My sun is setting. It's dark. So dark. Sorry, Solaire. Oh, wow. Some, like, straight sword, some, like, shield, some, like, talisman. Oh, and I got all of his stuff. Ah, oh, Solaire. Look at his sweet helm. With the sweet, sweet ass feather. I drew Solaire recently. Here's my drawing of Solaire praising the sun. Uh, yeah, it's very, it's bad, but it's, it's cool at the same time. So Solaire, unfortunately, has come down here, like an idiot he is, and found these bugs. These bugs are all around the area. And they have like little glowing eyes, basically. And he saw those eyes and decided that they were the sun and his insanity. So he put one on his head. Can you see here the glowing eyes? He put one on his head. He killed it, I think. And put it on his head. So that he could see... Look, yeah, look at the glowing eyes. So that he could see this glowing light in, in front of him. And he, it looked like the sun to him. That's what he decided. Ah, Solaire. Sunlight maggots. That's what they're called. Sunlight maggots. That's gross. Let's put it on. Oh my god, yeah, look at that. It glows like the sun. I understand now. I can see why he put it on. That's hilarious. He just put it on his head. I think it is dead though, yeah. Oh, Jesus. What the? Well, that doesn't look good. That looks particularly bad, actually. I'm not sure I want to go down there. Well, it doesn't look like I've got much choice when it comes to going down here. Better just get it over with. Uh. Don't curse me. If I could just keep moving, maybe I'll survive. That's what I'm going to tell myself. Okay. So far, it's not working. I don't want to be cursed. I would appreciate a lack of cursing. No cursing in my house. I don't even know if it does curse me. I've just decided it does. 
Weapon at re- Oh, and I'm dead. It's funny that I can sneak up behind this thing, being that it's got eyes literally in the back of its head. Now die, you bitch! That's right! How dare you kill me back there! Doesn't look like they respawn as well, which is nice. Well, what did I die for exactly? What was- what, what, why did I come here? Red Titanite. Don't need that. Soul of Brave Warrior, that's okay. Green Titanite, well... Shit. That was so worthless. Whoa! Is that one of the sisters? She's a pyromancer. Oh, is that an explosion? Oh my god. Pyromancers are OP. Okay, so I decided to put on um, this ring that I got. Uh, Slumming Dragon Crest ring. I got that back in Sense Fortress. Apparently, it means I make no sound whatsoever. So it's weird not hearing my armor when I move. But it'll be useful to be able to sneak up on people. Okay, so we're not we're not gonna let her channel anything, right? New strategy. Jesus Christ, that is insane. Fuck you! Yeah. So she's one of the daughters by the looks, based on her clothing. And I guess she just went hollow. Yeah, the eyes are lift catalyst. Yeah, I guess I guess she really just went insane. And it looks like this is our last stop, really. Right here. But because I'm an explorer, I quickly had a look round and found this chest. And I got for my troubles... Pyromancy Chaos Fire Whip. That sounds cool. I think I saw Josh use that, because he's playing a pyromancer. And, um... It looks... looks cool. All pyromancy looks cool. Never done it before, but it is so very strong. So I'm probably gonna give it a shot. I also want to take the alternative path to save Solaire. Um... Because you can do that, and the Pyromancers join that coven anyway, so I could get that alternate path, that shortcut, and save Solaire, maybe. You save him by basically taking that shortcut, getting there before him, and then killing all of the bugs, so then he helps you in the final fight. So, where's this boss? Probably down there. Alright, here we go. Hey! Isolif, baby, how you doing? Well, I think that means. So. Hi! You don't look too good, I must say. You're looking kind of uh, one out. Um, also I can see that you've got two power crystals there attached to some the ceiling and the roots. So I know that's how I kill you. But I've never done this, so I doubt it'll be that easy. The room is pretty open and you seem to only have like one attack, so... Looks cool. Should be fine, right? I'm really scared. I don't really want to go near her. Rage told me, because he's done this fight recently, Rage told me it's the most aggravating fight he's ever done in his life. It's all luck based. But I'm kind of just walking slowly over here, completely unfazed and untouched. Um, uh, is this wrong? Um, well, that was. That was. That was. That was really, really easy. I mean, uh, so I've killed one of your daughters, Isolith. How are you feeling about that? Or at least I, I killed one of the sacrifices of the soul or whatever it was that strengthened you. But now I just feel like you're stronger, you know? You definitely look stronger. You're looking a little bit angrier, you know? got this big tendril thing going on. Okay, I, I really don't understand why this is so easy. Is it because I'm wearing this ring? I swear to God, if that's the case, I didn't know. Oh, okay, whoa! Ah, the floor disappears, I see. Right. Oh, God, wow, it really does. Um... Was that meant to happen sooner? Maybe if I was... Maybe it's because I was walking like... Oh, God. 
Maybe it's because I was just calmly walk. Oh. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh shit. It must have been it. You know, I can't help but feeling like I'm just making her stronger by doing this. This is really dumb. <laughs> but, uh, she's done something different. Oh, okay, yeah. I immediately know what she's done different. She's just, she just killed me. She just killed me. That was, she just killed, I'm dead. I feel like, oh yeah, yeah, look, 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 there's totally just a jump there. Of which I fucked up! Fuck! Immediately! Okay, I'm, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was talking shit. I was wrong. I am wrong! It's good. It's... I could... I was holding block there. I just want you to know I was holding block. Welcome to attempt number seven. I have a new strategy. Distract her with the extreme sexiness. Extreme sexiness. The extreme. Extreme. Attempt number eight. The new strategy was a bad idea. So far, so good. So far, so good. And can I make the jump? No. No, that was... That was the jump there. Um, I had definitely made it onto the branch. However, she slapped me away. And I rolled off. I made the jump. I rolled straight off. Okay, there we go. Do you slap? Do you slap? We're not range of the slap. Okay, get hit by the slap. Oh God! Every time I've managed to make that jump twice, and both times I've just fucking missed. Okay, this one. Holy shit! Oh my God! Oh! Oh my God! Hey everyone, I'm back again. Woohoo! Ow! Hey, hey! Oh boy! Okay! Oh my! Oh god! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my god! Oh, it's over! It's over! Oh, here she is. This is the Witch of Izalith in her final form. This is where she's controlling the bed of chaos from. And that's what she's become. <sighs> I did it. Oh, <laughs> that was weird. Ah. Oh, thank God. I did it. Alright guys, that's going to cover it for this time. I have now the four souls. I am uh, I'm ready. Um, I just need to go down, put them together in the Lord Vessel. And then we can face him. We can face the final challenge, let's say. And then we complete the game. Oh, I'm so glad it's over. <laughs> that fight was terrible. I can understand now very well why people say that fight's pretty broken. And it's because, ultimately, you know, they, they it's random chance. 
but it's random chance. There's a lot of stuff that's in the fight. Sure, there's skill parts. Sure, there's knowing where the fort, the floor falls. Sure, there's knowing how the attack patterns work. But ultimately, if if it just does that fire attack on the ground and you are trying to kill the boss and you're in the wrong place, dead. As we saw a few times there. That jump was really hard, but ultimately it was just timing and I eventually got the timing down. What a difficult fight. I'm so glad it's done. Alright guys, <laughs> leave a like if you've enjoyed this. I have gone through three hours of suffering to get this episode done for you. And now i got to edit it. See you next time. Have a good day.